How mad was that? Was it? You don't remember? Well, I know you DJs like to party, but you were like a one-man festival. I couldn't keep up. Hey, you've reached Ryan. Sorry, missed your call. Leave a message. Ryan, it's me again. Where are you? I'm worried. Morning. Are you sure? How are you and Mary getting along? Rubbing along nicely. Ah, it's nice. Do you miss me? It's getting boring at Red Bank. They're all snobs. Mm. I miss the rent. I need somebody who can pay on time. I might put a card in the cabin, rent out your old room. Well, whoever is lucky enough to get the room sure would have landed on their feet with you as landlady. Mm -hmm. But it wasn't good enough for you. You've gone up in the world. Well, I crashed and burned. Double glammy. It was a cult. Don't worry, I've been deprogrammed. I suppose I've seen some of your better qualities lately. And George speaks very highly of you. Well, I'll be good as gold. Promise. Mm. Go on, I'll give you first refusal. Well, in that case, I accept. <laughs> Can I move back in today? Don't see why not. Oh, yes. <laughs> you can move all that horrible, smelly furniture out and all. I'll put my Herman Milo sofa in. <laughs> no, I won't. I'll put it on eBay. Mm. I'll need a man with a van. <laughs> Thank you. <sighs> Carla! Carla, yes. Well, this day just keeps getting better and better. You don't see me phone, have you? Mm, knew those cocktails were a bad idea. Oh, is that what we drank? Mm, till you started twerking on the table to Voodoo Ray. Good tune, old school. You're absolutely mad for it. You're playing all your tunes from back in the day, waving your arms in the air like you were doing a set. Weatherfield, make some noise. Oh. <laughs> Call yourself a DJ. You're just a human iPod. Yeah, but how do we end up? In your room. I don't know. We wouldn't have done anything, would we? No, we were too drunk. Yeah. Yeah. Was there a kiss, though? You were quite loved up. Oh. Um... No, it must have been a dream. <laughs> yeah, my head's thumping. So basically, we were just... We were just having a laugh, partying, and then we crashed. Obviously, we slept in the same bed. No, slept. Became unconscious. Nothing else. I can't remember. I don't think anything happened. We were too out of it. If we did do anything, then... No, I'd remember that, surely. Or it couldn't have been very good. That meant to be a compliment. No. Sorry. Ah, you're lovely. We had a crazy night. But I love Alia. And if I'd have been unfaithful to her, I'd remember. Everything all right? Ryan didn't come home last night. Have you rung him? Of course I've rung him. About a million times, straight to voicemail. What if something terrible's happened? Can you call one of his friends? Nobody's seen him. I know we had a row, but I didn't think it was that bad. Look, I, th I think you're getting carried away. He's a DJ. They're night owls. Or maybe he's trying to tell me something, that he doesn't want to come home. He adores you. Finally. Where on earth have you been? <sighs> I'm sorry, it got late. Is that all you can say? You didn't even text. And what do you mean, it got late? Where were you and, and who were you with? Hi, mate. All right. Um, are you working tonight? Uh, no, no. Would you fancy a curry, me, Tracy and Emma? Yeah, yeah, I'd love that. What time? About seven. Yeah. Yeah, it's great. How's the, uh, how's the fundraising going? <sighs> well, I've done about 10,000 miles walking, dressed up, dressed down, fun runs, bike rides. 
No, it's about time I wound it in, you know, spend some time with the family. Yeah. How much have you raised so far? 96 grand. That's incredible, mate. Why are you stopping now? Well, people get compassion fatigue, you know what I mean? Especially when you tap them up about ten times. But, uh, I mean, don't get me wrong. You know, I've been amazed by everyone's generosity. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's just a pity, though, isn't it? You know, stopping so close to 100. It was gone a long time. I'm sorry. But in Ibiza, this would be me getting back early. Or in San Antonio, we'd still be at Cafe Del Mar. It's Weatherfield, and 10 o'clock in the evening is late, especially on a school night. Yeah, I know. You just dropped off the grid. I'm sorry, babe. Well, I went to the DJing thing, and it was cancelled, so we had the night free. Then I got a call off an old mate of mine who we used to DJ with, DJ Zortek. <laughs> Sounds like a vaccine. Yeah, well, his real name's Nigel. Did a whole summer together at uh, Iron Apper, but he's mank. And, ugh, Q Expresso martinis and some serious nostalgia. And, uh, oh, the guy is such a party animal. Went back to his flat in the Northern Quarter. Can't wait to meet him. You will. Like I said, it got a bit leery. I passed out. I woke up an hour ago. Jumped on the tram. I haven't even had a shower. Oh. One text, and I would have been fine. I'm sorry. I'm an idiot. I thought you were really fed up after the row, trying to make a point. Joking. I didn't even think about it. I was being defensive. My right, old couple's row. Hey. We're still solid, aren't we? I hope so. Right, tonight, you have to come straight home from work. I want you all to myself. Bye, then. Great. Thanks for nothing. Useless banks. All right, I've come to organise a funeral. Oh, sorry for your loss. Not someone I know well. Maddy, you saw the big issue outside the tram stop? He's died. Had a lot of personal problems. Alki. Had one too many and walked out into the road out there. No. We were doing our bin round over there when the ambulance came. He was dead on arrival at the Hossie. Oh, poor Matty. Not supposed to be much money for the funeral. You have to sell a fair few issues to get even the most basic coffin. Nah, he was penniless. But me and the lads did a whip round and loads of people wanted to chip in. He was a really popular guy. I'm sure. There's just shy of seven grand in there. Seven grand? a few bits over. <laughs> Got a van coming later, after work. Is that your dinner jacket? It's a designer suit, if you please. I'm gonna have to sell it, though, on eBay, along with all my other stuff. I can hardly come down for my dinner at Eileen's, can I? Wearing my Giovanni Damani suit. <laughs> Are you moving back in? Phase one of the plan is complete. Thank you very much, sir. Hey, <laughs> God, we're good. In fact, when Eileen's dishing up tea, I might say, hey, guess who I bumped into? Gentleman George. She's coming. See you later, Sean. See ya. Hello, Eileen. Hi. Do you want the great news? I have just got my old job back at the factory. That's going and sign a contract, which means I will get paid, which means you will get your rent on time. Fine. Mm. Why were you uh, talking to George? Who, gentleman George? Oh, he was just saying, you know, how thrilled I am to be back where I belong. Why do you uh, call him gentleman George? For because he is a gentleman. He's very kind and thoughtful. Offered to help me with all my stuff. Plus, not bad looking. Yeah, he's sad. Après moi, Eileen. Our coffin of the month. It's an elm veneer. That's nice. Well, I'm sold. Let's go for the full package. Excellent choice. And the package has everything, including the scatter tube. The scatter tube? For the ashes. There's talk of doing that at the park in Gorton near his barracks. He was in the Royal Artillery. Oh, lovely. So, um, yeah, that's all the details sorted. 
Ready to go ahead? Yes, please. Can I pay you in cash? Well, normally we wouldn't allow that, but um, I'm sure we can make an exception for Matty. I'll email you an invoice. Cheers, mate. job was beneath you. Beth, I was being brainwashed. And besides Carla, she practically begged me to come back. Mm. <laughs> come on, admit it. You've missed me. Oh. How's everything with you? Oh, yeah. Still a dumped single mum. Lena's is pregnant, so he must have thrown you for a loop. Mm. Uh, sorry, I need to refill my bottle. Yeah, sure. Thanks. Could do without a wiggling a bum everywhere. <laughs> you should fight back. You know the only thing that's going to make you feel better? Uh, burning all his clothes? No. Move on. Start dating. Watch Tyrone's reaction when you cop off with someone hotter than him. No, I am not ready for that. Oh, I know with this great app. Two as one. I use Wham Bam. No way. Hey, I could do your profile. No. And me? I've had more dates in America, Souk. Hey, put what I say and you will get loads of matches. I am not interested. Look, the most important thing when you do a profile is to be positive. You're a gorgeous, bubbly woman. I mean, you're even called Fizz. You've got a Prosecco personality. People will love it. Yeah, well, I don't feel it. I feel flat as a pancake. No, don't. What are you doing? No, no, no. I'm wearing odd socks. Me as a mess. Well, use a little photo then, I'll doctor it. What? So you're conning people before you start? No, you're just letting people see the best of you. It's fake. Give it here. Single mum, jilted by ex partner for a younger model. Is there an abbreviation for very bitter and angry? VBA. VBA. Don't put that! Oh, come on, Fizz. Put GSOH, you know, for good sense of humour. Uh, you'll never get any matches with VBA. Mm. Fine. I am being honest about my situation, Sean. I'm not just sugarcoating it all. Well, no one's gonna like it. Good! And maybe you lot will stop mithering me. I know that look. Something's up. Todd, spill. I screwed up. Big time. Why? Andy, a local bin man, he came in to arrange a funeral for Matty. You know, he used to sell a big issue. He's died? Yeah, I know. Terrible. I put together a really great package for them, you know. Emperor Casket at the works. Lovely. It's been paid for by a collection. People that knew him, they, they were really generous. But they've still only got a budget of about two grand. I see. But the casket alone is... I know. I only charged them what they could afford. I felt sorry for him. He deserves a good send-off. Anyway, I'll, uh, I'll make up the other five grand from my wages. Five grand? You will not. I will. It was my fault. You just proved to me why I was right to take you on. What you did shows that you share the values that me and my dad built this business on. I thought you were going to sack me. I'm right proud of you. It's me. Got your money. Oh, 
Are you avoiding me? No. No, I had a late night. So did you. Look, last thing I remember, tied room twirlies. And we're in the back room. I just can't see how I ended up upstairs. Well, I didn't drag you up there. If anyone was getting tactile, it was you. Oh, was I? I'm sorry. No, I didn't mind. I was having fun. What'd you tell Alia? You didn't tell her? Uh, no, I just thought she'd get the wrong idea if I said I was with you. I said I was her mate. Male or female? Male. <laughs> Look, I couldn't... I couldn't tell her it was you. She's already got ideas about us. You won't draw me in it, will you? You don't half blow hot and cold. Look, I'm sure we didn't do anything. If you were that drunk, I wouldn't want to gone there. Neither of us know what happened because neither of us can remember. We're business partners, right? We should keep things professional. Me and Ali have sorted everything out. We're back on an even keel, so let's... let's just forget about last night, right? And I promised you a night of fun, no strings. I shouldn't get heavy. Your secret's safe for me. Thank you. I mean, the thing is, it's funny, yes, but I think you should change it. Why? Because it's honest. It's a bit off putting. By all means, put something quirky, because people love quirky. But at least do a photo where you're smiling. I they haven't smiled for about three months. Yeah, it's like you're mocking the whole dating scene, but in fact, Fizz Bomb, if we're honest, it could end up helping you. Mm. No. No one is ever hurting me like that again, so... I still think you should change your profile. Mm. Oh! Ha-ha! That made you jump. So you do want someone to like you. Can I reply? Ooh! I like the cut of your jib. Honesty for once. Fancy a meat. Chris. M K M B M. No kids, never been married. Ooh, you forgot LC. LC. Looks cute. Oh, oh you're gonna meet him. Oh, I'm dead excited. <laughs> <clears throat> Change subject. Do you reckon people round here would pose nude for charity? Random? I don't think so, why? It'd be tastefully done, like, you know, them, uh, like them firemen in Oz. Oh, right, yeah. I see what you mean, like, to raise money? Yeah. Am I mad? I, s I was talking to your dad earlier and, I don't know, he, he says he's going to take a break from all of his fundraising. Yeah, he's raised loads of cash. Yeah, 96 grand, but it's just, it, it's so close to his target of 100. I, I don't know, I, I want to help him get there. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, you know, if, if lads round here took the kit off and, well, we turned the results into a calendar. I'd buy one if you were in it. <laughs> no, I, I think it should be lads round here, you know, lads who, who knew Oliver. Yeah. I, I reckon it'd be a, a good laugh and you know, it's mad enough to get people's attention, so... It's lovely that you want to do something like this. Yeah, well, we can talk about it later over curry. My head is thumping still. Well, you should try air of the dog. Perhaps a dirty martini this time. Ugh. Nope, I'll stick to clean water, thanks. <clears throat> and next time, we stop at midnight. Gonna be a next time, is there? Maybe. It was a crazy night, though, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Hello. I Hello. thought I'd swing by. I'm on my way to the shops. Is there anything particular you fancy for dinner? I don't mind. I want tonight to be really special. What time do you finish here? Seven. Actually, we've got a meeting with an events planner at seven. Oh, can't we rearrange? It was really hard to get a meeting with this woman. We don't turn up, we look like total amateurs, and she might never give us a gig. Look, you can have dinner with her at any time. This needs sorting today. It won't take long, right? Surely. All these things always drag on, but don't worry. Won't keep him up all night. That's not the point. I'm pulling rank. She can like it or lump it. Who do you think you are, hmm? Talking to me like that. Well, ladies, calm down, all right? She's trying to kibosh our evening again. Can't you see that? We'll have to arrange to meet her tomorrow, all right? 
All right, bye, babe. Look, if you're not going to take this seriously, then maybe we shouldn't be working together. Where's that urn? The one in the middle, it was, it was on that shelf. Oh, yes. Mr Hendricks came in to collect it earlier. Of course. Todd! What are you up to? You're gonna break that if you're not careful. Is there something wrong? Are you OK? Oh, I'm sorry about that. First, you act like last night never even happened, which I think I took pretty well, by the way. Then you lie to her and she starts insulting me. <laughs> and I could have wiped that smug smile right off her face. I know. I know, and I'm grateful that you didn't. Ryan, I hate this lying. Wouldn't it be better if we just told her the truth? Are you crazy? No. That, that would look really bad. Besides, we don't know what the truth is. Neither of us can remember. Well, we know you ended up in my bed. You were with her. And we're back to Coronation Street in half an hour. <laughs>